I just got the greatest revelation in my entire life, and I must share it. I have always beaten myself up for thinking that as a single man, I didn't have enough money, fame, or fortune, because I believed that's what women wanted. And they do. Although it's inside, our thoughts, feelings, and emotions show greater than we think, as what we think transforms into who we are or become. My focus on what I was not overshadowed what I was, and I never basked in my strengths. Instead, I wallowed in my weaknesses. It held me back. I sabotaged myself and perhaps relationships that could have been good for me. I may never know. Being overweight was my biggest. I was sure I had to be slim and trim to even think that I could really be celebrated. And my desire to look good, look rich, and be was motivated by what I thought someone else wanted to see. And they do. Well, over the past few months, I've learned. I've been re-evaluating myself. And over the past few days, I hit the total button to realize I have so much more surplus that I was not seeing. My dear mother once told me, son, if a woman loves you, she'll be with you in a cardboard box. I never thought she literally meant that, but I went on to learn that she actually meant that I only wanted to be with someone who liked me for the real me. And regardless of what I had or didn't have, I could be loved just for being Travis. Wow. Is that all it took? I was always me. Perhaps no one ever saw me because of who I was trying to be or thought they wanted me to be. I could always feel that someone really didn't like me. We always do, don't we? The truth in the matter is, I didn't like me. There's no way anyone can like me if I don't like myself and even if they did, I would never know because I couldn't see through me not liking me. Negativity is only strong because positivity doesn't fight back. It doesn't have to. One has to be drawn into it in order to get into the flow of it. When I look at the bottom line of my self-evaluation, I'm blown away with what I see. Money, fortune, fame, status, looks, and positions are all materialistic values that are meaningless when the soul needs satisfaction. One's soul is the core of one's being. Everything else is just stuff. And while it's good, it's not what really matters. In essence, I'd rather just have good, clean oxygen to breathe than all the best smelling fragrances in the world. I now see myself as good, clean oxygen. And I like that. Somehow, people of quality recognize other qualities And just because I haven't been discovered yet, doesn't mean I'm not valuable. Stepping out of the box doesn't necessarily mean doing so physically, but realizing that a delay indeed doesn't mean denied. From a relationship, career opportunities, status or commitment, how we see ourselves is very important. I encourage anyone who's been suppressed by your own thoughts to take some time away from everything and everybody to self-evaluate. Produce an emotional budget and see exactly what you're worth. You'll be amazed. I recently read a quote that said, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. There is someone somewhere at some time in every way that will see your value and appreciate you. It's okay to wait. Don't settle for less anyway. Being alone is not a bad thing. Being with the wrong person is a bad thing. You will know when it's right. And until it is, just chill and love who you are. Constantly evaluate yourself and grow. Improve yourself for you, and when the right magnet hits the right steel, it will stick, and you will know. I was once asked why relationships fail. I responded, because of expectations not being met. 
entering into an agreement or relationship, looking for what something or someone can do or be for you, instead of what you can do or be for something or someone, is not concrete and cannot weather real storms. Today, I look in the mirror and I see value that I've never seen before, and it has absolutely nothing to do with finances or status, but that of integrity, motive, and that of finally being true to myself, knowing that my presence, gifts, skills, talent, and ability to love and be loved unconditionally, it's what really matters. Today, I like me, I love me, and I'm proud to know that in due season, I will move deeper into my destiny as my patience and endurance will for sure be so much worth the wait for everything promised desired, and destined. Today, I realize that I've grown, I've matured, and I'm excited about the rest of my life being the best of my life. <laughs>